Alright, welcome back to another Art of War 3 replay. I'm your host, John Cena. And today, we're going to be doing a 1v1 battle. I'm going to be the blue Confederate player. And my opponent is going to be a red Resistance player, rank 19. So let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit different of a strategy here for this battle. We're going for a fast naval deployment build. And I'm trying to get a torpedo platform down quickly so I can get some early control on the battlefield. Uh, we can see that we're trying to get those resources for uh, early base development. And we can see a coyote coming in from the resistance player. I'm going to see if I can finish off this coyote here. And we're going to be able to clean up that coyote very nicely. And I'm going to get that first delta out. And we can see that red is also very fast on the water. Already has a level 2 shipyard and an alligator on the way. Uh, I've got some assaults here to secure this large container. We're going to get some extra resources there, which will be nice. Uh, meanwhile, this Cayman coming in for the red player is going to put some fire onto my naval shipyard here. And I'm going to get my Delta onto the land. As a scout, we can see that red is going for the tech up for HQ3. Meanwhile, I'm still HQ2 trying to get down a fifth supply center. Here comes the Gator from the red player. And it looks like they're putting some fire down onto my naval shipyard, so some early aggression here is occurring. And I'm probably going to lose the shipyard, uh, but I've got two torpedo platforms firing. And it looks like I'm actually going to be able to save the shipyard, perhaps? No, oh, not quite. It looks like I am, in fact, going to lose the shipyard. And the shipyard goes down. So I'm only down to uh, one shipyard at this point. We can see that red is dropping down some more infrastructure, another supply center, and a power plant. Uh, meanwhile, my deltas are continuing to slowly kind of make their way around the map. I don't quite have the ability to uh, push back the gators yet. Red has finished going for HQ3, which means we might see some double gator production potentially, uh, depending on their goal. You can see that Red is now trying to drop a naval uh, platform down uh, to try and get some control on the map. I'm going to throw on a gold common defense suit to boost the range of my torpedo platform. And we're going to be able to clean up that torpedo platform very nicely. And not only that, we're going to be able to actually hit the shipyard over here. And this is going to be great for us. Looks like that second gator is out for the red player. But unfortunately for red, that gator is in range of my torpedo platform. And I'm going to be able to clean up this gator very easily. And looks like my torpedo platform is going to reach that shipyard again. And we're going to be able to finish it off no problem. Torpedo platforms coming down now from the red player. Uh, looks like I've still got two deltas in the area, and I'm actually gonna produce another delta now. I'm slowly just producing more deltas here, just to make a push onto the red player, just to keep the aggression going. I don't want to let red get settled, so you have the rank and economy advantage, and if I let them get too comfortable, I'm going to get overwhelmed in my position. So, Deltas are now coming in to take care of these torpedo platforms, and this is great. I'm just continuing to harass the red player and delay their development. And red's trying to build more torpedo platforms to defend their area, while in the meantime, I'm just continuing to rebuild some infrastructure and get some production structures down. And it looks like I'm going to be able to clean up another torpedo platform. Got three Deltas again in the area. One of my Deltas went down, but uh, it was a good trade. And looks like that torpedo platform was able to get finished before my deltas could take it out. I'm going to go ahead and have to retreat there. So at this point, uh, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my shipyard to a level 2 so I can get some vikings out. There's one gator still from the red player. It's doing some harassment onto my base. Uh, so I'm going to have to redeploy some infrastructure to some other places where I have some better base security. So, upgrading... The naval shipyard there, so I've got it to level 2, I'm going to start to produce some vikings. I've got two level shipyards at this point, and that's going to allow me for that double viking production. Meanwhile, this gator here is putting some fire onto my supply center. I'm going to send a cyclone over to check out the red player. Let's see what red's got. Looks like red's got a 7 supply center build, going for an avia factory. And we see that they've got 3 torpedo platforms down, and a couple shipyards down. One of them is level 2, and the other one is level 1 in production. So my torpedo platform, again, is able to shoot across the little bay there. So I'm able to get some free hits onto the red player, which is going to delay their development. Red's getting a scout onto my base, and red can see that uh, I have HQ3 as well uh, to match their headquarters. 
I'm gonna clean up a shipyard there, and here comes my first Viking. So my first Viking is gonna duke it out with this torpedo platform. Uh, we can see that the Viking is doing some really good damage to this torpedo platform, uh, but again, it is taking some heavy fire. We're gonna be able to finish off that torpedo platform here, and I'm gonna put some fire onto that Cayman, but I'm gonna switch targets over to the torpedo platform. I want to finish that torpedo platform. We switch back to the Cayman, and we're gonna be able to finish off that Cayman. So shipyard here, not in production gators at this point, uh, but I do want to finish it off. I don't want to let Red have the chance to produce more gators to take naval control. And we're gonna clean up this uh, naval shipyard, no problem. Now we got one more torpedo platform in the area, but two more torpedo platforms are being deployed. Three more torpedo platforms are being deployed. Red is desperately trying to uh, defend their shoreline, but I'm continuing to increase the number of Vikings at my disposal here. And we're gonna clean up another torpedo platform. Red is down to just two torpedo platforms in the area. I'm gonna be able to finish off another torpedo platform. One of my Vikings goes down. I've got two Vikings left in the area versus one torpedo platform. That's no problem at all for my naval units. And now we finish off that last torpedo platform. Another torpedo platform gets deployed. Uh, we can see I'm just continuing to produce units here. I'm anticipating that I'm going to need units to get onto the land so I can continue to keep my momentum going. And we can see that there's this last torpedo platform that we're trying to finish off at this point. My Vikings are dishing out some damage against Red. Meanwhile, I'm trying to build a rocket tower here, but that's not going to work out. Red is going to be able to reach that rocket tower to take it out. I'm upgrading my assault vehicle factory just in case I need to get some hammer tanks out for defense. The last torpedo platform goes down, and now I'm just starting to dig into the Red player's infrastructure here. I've got a handful of deltas as well to push the assault onto the land. This is what's nice about deltas is that you can make amphibious landings onto a player's base and stream in reinforcements. So at this point, I have full control of the water, and now I'm just starting to put more pressure onto Red. Red is in trouble now. They're desperately trying to produce units and defensive structures to defend against my assaults here. I'm gonna clean up that Avia factory, so uh, Deltas are continuing to gradually increase in numbers. Red needs to respond soon for their finish. Another supply center goes down. Red is down to three supply centers, but we can see that there's a construction yard in the vicinity of the base. And my guess is that Red is gonna try and build away. We can see that Gator from Red has been finished off by my Vikings, so Red has no naval units left on the battlefield. So now I'm able to focus on just flooding this Red player's base with Deltas, and Red is desperately trying to build more defensive structures. We see a gun tower go down, we see a supply center go down, so it confirms my suspicion. Red is in fact trying to build away from the water. It's the smart move to do. Unfortunately, Red is running out of time here. I've got the advantage in terms of momentum with Deltas coming in to dish out damage. So Deltas finish off that construction yard and I finish off another supply center and a power plant there. So there's four sniper towers left in the area. Uh, one of them was not able to finish being constructed. Uh, that looks like that gun tower is still being constructed though, so if it's in range of a construction yard, it's going to start to put some heavy damage onto my delta there. So I'm going to move my deltas away from the gun tower. I need to keep my deltas away from the gun tower for now uh, until I either build up the numbers to do it or I take it out. Uh, so I'm anticipating that I'm going to need some air support eventually uh, to finish off the red player, so I'm going for some vertex. I finished off the last few infrastructure buildings for Red uh, that are at least next to the headquarters. And now I'm starting to put some fire onto the headquarters. Red is not going to be able to use a reserve HQ boost to rebuild. They're going to have to build an HQ from scratch if they want to have their base successfully uh, able to produce units. So I got even more deltas flooding onto uh, the little plateau here. And Red's got an armadillo, it's gonna get cleaned up. There's a couple anti-air towers in the area, but those are not gonna come in handy right now. Most of my ground troops, or army consistency, is Deltas. I have the one cyclone in the area. And this headquarters is gonna get finished. There we go, we finished off the headquarters. We can see some riflemen coming in from the Red player. 
Those riflemen are going to be no problem for my deltas, though. My deltas are doing a great job just concentrating fire onto those riflemen. And Red is unable to produce a meaningful ground army of any kind. Again, I'm staying away from the gun tower. I'm trying to dish out as much damage as I can. I know I have the upper hand. I'm just trying not to rush it. So, uh, looks like my deltas are getting a little close to that gun tower. Gun tower is going to fire again onto the deltas. I'm just going to micro my deltas away from the gun tower. And I'm going to put some fire onto these uh, sniper towers. Uh, if I had to change anything again with this battle, I would have finished off that sniper tower with very little health first, but it's in the past. So now at this point, Red is going to self-destruct if they know they're finished, and it's a good game at this point. Alright, hope you all enjoyed that battle. Uh, it's just something a little bit different from uh, a lot of my other battles. Uh, we will see you in the next one. Victory.